previously on Apprentice A. Oh, I get it. Getting all the shots? Yeah. All of them. Let's go! I was like a little bit nervous. <laughs> 300 gigs worth of footage. Okay, here we go. Here we are. Uh, we're we're here. Well, hi. This is, welcome welcome dogs. to welcome to Apprentice A. Hi dogs. Hi dogs. So he feels like something's going on. What's going hi, on? Dogs. Okay, <laughs> here's the news. Um, we we have this event called Buffer Festival. <laughs> we have this event called Buffer Festival, and we did an early bird pre-sale, which ended uh, at the end of last month. At the end of um, come here, three go August. Um, Buffer Festival is now next month, guys. It's September. No. Buffer Festival's no, in October. That's terrifying. Actually, if you go to BufferFestival.com, it will say that Buffer Festival's in 45 days. Nope. It's in a month and a half. Nope. But it's next month. Um, now, basically, let's cut to the chase, Corey. You talk too much. Uh, the full schedule is launching right now. Let me click it. We're sending out a newsletter. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, make sure you're subscribed. Send. And it has this like crazy looking button. I know, Look, right? It's like this like scary prepare for launch. You are about to send a campaign to four thousand eight hundred and fifty people. This is your moment of glory. It actually says that. Mailchimp has a good sense of humor. Yeah, and ushering your email. High fives! Your campaign is in the send queue, and will go out shortly. High five! High five! So right now there's seven people on the website. It's time to promote. Uh, we, we always push to the newsletter first. It's easiest to like go do Twitter first. I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna go tweet it. But like, I wanna give preferential treatment to the people that go out of their way to subscribe to our newsletter, to know what's going on with Buffer Festival. Um, so I'm gonna wait a couple minutes and then we'll start tweeting. But yeah, it's full. It's a full schedule. It's live. We have a bunch of new guests. Oh, I just got the email. I just got the newsletter. Because I'm subscribed go. to our newsletter. Good. Hey, it's been super warm all day. So I am wearing tank top and shorts. And now it's cold. So I'm going to go change. Hang on. Haha! -ha. All better. I wanted to show you something that I got at Fan Expo that I'm very excited about. Um, so I've been needing a new wallet for a long time. Mine is falling apart. It's not good. And I've been trying to find a wallet that like matches the one that I have. It's like a clicky, it's got a clasp instead of a zipper. Can't find one anywhere, so I found this one instead. It's a Harry Potter wallet. <laughs> if I can't have a wallet that has a clasp thing, then I'm gonna get one that's themed. House is still a dump. Ignore it. I will clean it when I'm not busy. Um, here's my wallet. Look how beautiful it is. It's so cute. Look at the inside. It's so beautiful. Hogwarts alumni. Heck yeah. Uh, I wanted to get a smaller wallet, but I have too much stuff for small wallets, so too bad. Zippered pouch, which is very important for change and the likes. And then it's got a cool handle thing, guys. I just need to only bring my wallet and nothing else to things, and then I'm like good to go, and I probably can just shove my phone in one of these pouch things. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're closed now. I can make it happen, just as long as nothing else is in there. But now I can carry all my stuff around with just this. Who needs a purse? Well, we had a successful day. Don't lie to them. Put your hat back. I never the way lied to them. Was. Put it back. Put it back the way that it was. Thank you. I continue your story. With your Pikachu shirt. Look, woke up, we were busy. I didn't have time for proper clothing attire, so I grabbed the closest things I had, mm -hmm. which were these shorts mm -hmm. and this Pikachu shirt. Mm -hmm. Looks good. And then I threw a hat on. Okay. And then I washed my face, so I put my hat like this, washed my face, and it came out of the bathroom. And Saskia was like, giving me a hard time. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. 
it's not too late to back out. It's not too late to back out. Hey, rude. Um, wow. Wow. So rude. While I second guess life choices. <laughs> uh, we had a really great launch, <laughs> launch 2.0 day. Well, launch 1.0, which was, was like pre-sale. This is like launch 4.0. You guys no. have updated the website like that doesn't count four times. There was there was pre-sale, then there was double YouTuber launch. Yeah. Then there was actual launch, which mm. is today. So it's launch 3.0. Ha. It's really launch two. It was like launch one and then 1.5 and then yeah, launch yeah. two. Since we launched, things spiked up. We had about 130 to 150 people on the website at the same time all day. It would like kind of dip a little bit and go up, but it was just always somewhere between that, uh, between 100 and 150, just kind of bouncing up and down between that, depending on like who was tweeting it and who checks their email at a certain time. So that was really cool, uh, and it was really neat to see all the tweets and all, all the reactions from everyone coming in. But anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. I think we uh, Cory bought Oreos and. Yeah. So, anyways, we gotta bring all this stuff back to Canon tomorrow because today was a holiday. Yep. So, and then I can finally clean this dang house. These dang kids in their dang, dang kids house. Kids in their stupid camera gear, cluttering up my living space. Yep. So. One can you time vacuum I tomorrow? I, I want to clean just everything tomorrow. Yeah. But we'll see if I actually do. Okay. But I want to really okay. badly. Yeah, that'd be great. We, it needs a vacuum. It needs an everything. It needs a dusting and just a general tidying up. And the bathroom needs to be clean and the kitchen needs to be clean. Just to ever dirty. Yeah. Gross people because we're busy. Yeah, filming for Disney was fun all weekend. Yeah. I don't know if it was ever properly explained no, exactly what we were never. doing. <laughs> We were just like, we were just there and People filming stuff. People commented and they like, like, why are what they, are they holding doing? around that giant camera? Yeah, why did we have a giant camera from Canon? And like, why did we go to Fan Expo? Okay, so, give you a little bit of background. So we're press at Fan Expo because we were working on behalf of Disney, which is pretty cool, I guess. Because Disney owns this franchise called Star Wars. Whatever. I don't know, I've seen it a couple times. <laughs> uh, and they asked us to film a bunch of stuff, like what's going on at Fan Expo, like kind of their activation. Uh, the stuff with the big, uh, I forget his name, K K2SO. K2SO. That was close. I was like KO, KOS2. Knock out. <laughs> um, so we had to film that, like the, the robot being made from, from the Lego guy, and then Alan, uh, Alan, how do you say his last name? Tudic. Alan Tudic. Tudic. Because uh, he's the voice of the robot, so they like lined up, they got, we talked to the publicist, the publicist he's got him there. He's from Firefly. Watch from Firefly. Uh, and they're like, he's going to be there for like, yeah, he can show up there for like five minutes, but you got to be real quick. So we, we got that in. Uh, and we're going to make a cool main channel video. Yeah with the toys and just Fan Expo and Disney and Star Wars all smooshed into one. Smooshed. It's gonna be cool. So that's why we got the cool camera because we want it to be like 4K and we want it to be just really epic looking. So, I mean, why not do that at the same time as everything else? Like, yeah, we're, right. we're not we super busy. But I mean, it's Disney and Star Wars, so. <laughs> You're not gonna say no when the email comes in. Anyways, now I'm going to bed for real. So you guys have a good night. Thanks for tuning in to all our Buffer stuff. Uh, double thanks if you bought tickets. Yeah. And if you did get tickets, we'll see you in October. If you didn't, don't worry, there's still time for you to get tickets. <laughs> Just messing with you. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Home is where the bar is.